Trust God's timing and His ways for your healing. James 1, 2 through 4. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Romans 5, 1 through 5. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Psalms 9, 10 And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. And Psalms 37, 28 For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Are you someone who has been praying to God for healing? Perhaps you are living with cancer, chronic pain, diabetes, or another illness or disorder, and have been praying to God for healing. Or it's your loved ones in this situation, and you have been praying for his or her healing. You pray, you fast, you fast, you pray. You've been anointed with blessed oil by your pastor, the elders of the church, or other prayer warriors. Or maybe you've anointed yourself or your loved one as you pray to God for healing. You've done all this, but you feel that nothing much has changed because as you see it, healing hasn't come yet. To heal means to be restored cured, repaired. There are many instances in the Bible of the Lord's healing. Jesus healed the woman who had an issue of blood for 12 years. Luke 8, 43 through 48. He healed the blind, made the lame to walk, cleansed the lepers, made the deaf hear, and raised up the dead. Matthew eleven five. 5. And these are just some of the works of the Lord's miraculous healing. In some cases, God healed instantly. In other cases, healing was slow. And there are some instances where we don't see that healing took place, such as was the case with Paul in 2 Corinthians 7 through 9. And herein lies the problem with these last two situations. Some Christians who are slow to receive healing or who don't experience healing become angry at God or feel as if God is not listening to their prayer, or may feel distant from God, as if he has left them. But it's important to recognize that God never forsakes the righteous. Psalms 37, 28 says, For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. There are a number of reasons why God may not provide immediate or quick healing. One reason may be due to sin in a person's life, James 5, 15. Another reason may be that God needs to build character in you. God may delay your healing because he's getting you ready to fulfill your purpose in him. And he sees that more work needs to be done. God may see that your faith needs to be increased. Unwavering faith means if God doesn't heal you today, tomorrow, next month, next year, or years to come, you never lose your faith in him. In fact, the longer it takes God to heal you, the more your faith should really be increasing, not decreasing. Your healing could also be delayed because God sees that you need more patience or more self-control. God may see that you are lacking spiritual strength and he needs to strengthen you. 
You may need more humility, and your slow healing is a way of God humbling you. You may need to be more dependent on God, and God may be timing your healing to when he will get all the glory. John 9, 1 through 7. Because God is the omniscient, quintessential Father, He knows what's best for you and will give you what you need, not just what you want, so that His purpose in you can be fulfilled. When you are in a committed relationship with the Lord, you accept His timing and His ways, fully acknowledging that He alone is God and that his timing and ways are perfect. Psalms 1830 says, As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. Trust that your heavenly Father knows what's best for you, including all the details surrounding your healing. Never stop believing and having faith in your healing. Never stop doing what you can do for your earthly body. But God doesn't want you to have worry, fear, stress, anxiety, or doubt over your condition because those things keep you from focusing on God, hearing His voice, and serving Him as you should. And stop looking at what God has done for others and instead look at what He needs to do in you. Don't compare yourself to others because you don't know the details of their journey to being healed. And in plenty of situations, if you did know, you would say, God, take your sweet, sweet time in healing me. Or maybe don't even heal me at all. I'm good, Lord. Your job is just to continue having faith in God to heal you, no matter how long it takes. You must get to a point where you say, God, for you I live and for you I die, no matter what's going on in this earthly body. Above all, you must continue to give God glory and praise Him for your healing, because through faith, it's already done. Dear Father God, thank you, Lord, for being the almighty healer. Lord, you are perfect in all your ways, including all details surrounding one's healing. Lord, there are some who have been praying for healing and have become discouraged, frustrated, and or lost their patience because they don't see their condition being changed. They don't see that healing has taken place. Lord, help them to see beyond the natural and to see with their spiritual eyes. Lord, help them to understand and to know, to claim and hold on to your promise that you never forsake the righteous. Lord, strengthen their faith in you. Give them a heart of appreciation for your timing and your ways. Help them to see, Lord, that everything you do is for good. Lord, show them how to continuously glorify and thank you and serve you with their whole being, regardless of their condition or how long they've been praying for healing. Lord, help them to see that even if they never receive healing in this life, they must still praise you, Lord, as it's already done. Because when we get to heaven and spend eternity with you, Lord, we will have brand new bodies, free of any disease or disorders. Perfect, Lord, in your image. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Lord, for complete divine healing according to your timing and your ways. In Jesus' most holy and precious name we pray. Amen.